Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Small Screen Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. This episode is going to have spoilers for the very first episode of Tolerance is Extinction from X-Men 97, the first of a three-parter, and so if you don't want to be spoiled, turn away, watch the show, come back and watch this video, and then we can discuss how the episode went. So Cable is in the past, and he is aligning himself with the X-Men, reluctantly with his own father, and they are forming a front against Bastion, and what they don't realize is that Bastion has created an entire army of human hybrid sentinels, and that's... His plan is to wipe out all the mutant. So Scott, Gene, and Cable decide to locate the base of operations for Bastion. And it turns out it's his childhood home. And it's rife with memories which Jean is able to gather up and witness herself. And all of a sudden Bastion's mother turns into a Prime Sentinel. And all these Prime Sentinels get activated, including Trish Tilby, which I saw coming a mile away. I, <laughs> it was kind of unfortunate, but I knew it was going to happen. So they're fighting off all these Prime Sentinels, and Jubilee and Sunspot get attacked at the mall. Go figure. And... They end up getting apprehended uh, by the Prime Sentinels. Um, and in the meantime, the mansion is under attack by the Prime Sentinels. And all havoc is breaking loose. And it's really cool. There's this really awesome fight sequence with Nightcrawler and the Three Swords. That was pretty awesome. And you get to see him like how he bounced, and that was really cool. So it turns out that Dr. Valerie Cooper has been aligning herself with Bastion, and she is seeing the error of her ways. And he's got Magneto holed up and shackled up in his underwear, a little hot. And Val just talks to Magneto, and she says, say something, anything. Um, but he doesn't utter a word. He opens his eyes. And Sinister's been working on his techno-organic virus, which is what infects these human civilians to make them into Prime Sentinels. And all that is being concocted. And meanwhile... The expansion is going up in flames. It's a disaster site. And the x jet gets blown out of the air again, and all of a sudden there's an ex porsche <laughs> I thought that was a little contrived, but it, it worked because that ends up getting destroyed too. So with Bastion's backstory, we don't get a full look at who he really was before he became Bastion. Um, he just always happened to be, which really kind of takes back a little bit of what Sinister said before about him, him being a villain that wasn't able to vanquish the X-Men before. Um, so I'm not really sure where all that is coming into play. Maybe we'll find out next episode. But Bastion shows up outside the X-Mansion, sees it in shambles, and then Sinister says... The dumb human, Valerie Cooper, has freed Magneto. 
So Bastion teleports back to his home base and confronts Valerie Cooper and she gets this excellent monologue which concludes with Magneto was right. And we see Magneto at the North Pole and he unleashes this electromagnetic pulse that just completely goes over the entire planet, rendering practically everything useless. So at the conclusion of the episode, everybody is basically like licking their wounds and Wolverine says Magneto's done it, he's declared war and wouldn't it be great if, you know, Professor X was here? And then boom, as if anything else couldn't destroy the X-Mansion, the Shi'ar ship crash lands into the mansion and inside is Professor Xavier and he does this little telepathy thing and says to me my X-Men and that's where the episode ends. Um, it was a very good episode. Lots of action sequences that were really stellar. Still some horror elements to it with the freakiness of the Prime Sentinels. Yeah. And then we get lots of fun little cameos like Doctor Doom and Baron Zemo, Spider-Man, Silver Samurai, and there was a woman that was on one of the TV monitors in Bastion's lair, and I couldn't quite pinpoint who she was. If she was supposed to be Madame Hydra or who, I don't know. But I am clamoring for the next episode. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description. Don't forget to share with your friends and hit that notification bell whenever you want to be notified when Red and Slim Productions uploads a video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Love and light to you all.